Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to learn in details about manufacturing economics, the equipment reliability and scrap rate under the topic manufacturing cost models and mathematical problems on scrap rate, cycle time and cost per piece. We are studying introduction and overview of manufacturing. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Equipment reliability and scrap rate of parts are sometimes issues in production. Equipment reliability is represented by the term availability, denoted by the symbol A, which is simply the proportion up time of the equipment. For example, if availability A is equal to 97%, then for every 100 hours of machine operation, we would expect on average that the machine would be running for 97 hours and be down for maintenance and repairs for 3 hours. Scrap rate refers to the proportion of parts produced that are defective. Let, small letter Q denote the scrap rate. In batch production, more than the specified batch quantity are often produced to compensate for the losses due to scrap. Let, Q, represents the required quantity of parts to be delivered, and Q0, represents the starting quantity. The following equation can be used to determine how many starting parts are needed on average to satisfy an order for Q finished parts. Starting quantity, Q0, equals to, required quantity, Q, divided by, 1 minus, scrap rate which is denoted by small letter Q. Problem 1. Let's see a mathematical problem on equipment reliability and scrap rate. The question states, a customer has ordered a batch of 1000 parts to be produced by a machine shop. Historical data indicates that the scrap rate on this type of part equals 4%. How many parts should the machine shop plan to make in order to account for this scrap rate? So, how can we solve this problem? Here, given, required quantity equals 1000 parts, and scrap rate equals 4% equals 0 0.04, then the starting quantity is determined as follows. Q0, equals to, required quantity, divided by, 1 minus, scrap rate. Putting the values. We obtain the value of 1041.7 starting parts rounded to 1042 starting parts. So, the machine shop should plan to make 1042 starting parts in order to account for the scrap rate of 4%. Now, let's look at another problem. This mathematical problem will be on cycle time and cost per piece. The question states, a high production operation manufactures a part for the automotive industry. Starting material cost equals $1.75, and cycle time equals 2.20 minutes. Equipment cost rate equals $42 per hour, and labor cost rate equals $24 per hour, including overhead costs in both cases. Availability of the production machine in this job equals 97%, and the scrap rate of parts produced equals 5%. Because this is a long-running job, set up time is ignored and there is no tooling cost to be considered. A. Determine the production rate and finished path cost in this operation. B. If availability could be increased to 100% and scrap rate could be reduced to zero, what would be the production rate and finished path cost? So, how can we solve this problem? Let's look at the solution of A. To determine the production rate and finished path cost in this operation. Here, the equation for production rate including effective availability is, RP, equals to, 60, divided by, TP, into the availability of machine. So, putting the values in this equation we get, production rate of 26.45 pieces per hour, including effective availability. However, because of the 5% scrap rate, the production rate of acceptable parts is, RP, equals to, the obtained production rate of 26.45 pieces per hour, into, 1 minus, the scrap rate of parts produced, which is 5%, or 0 0.05. Thus because of the 5% scrap rate, the production rate of acceptable parts is 25.13 pieces per hour. 
because of availability and scrap rate, the part cost, CPC, is equal to, material cost of $1.75, divided by, 1 minus, the scrap rate of parts produced, plus, the equipment cost rate of $42 per hour, plus labor cost rate of $24 per hour, divided by availability of the production machine in this job, which is 97%, or 0.97, into, the cycle time of 2.20 minutes, divided by, 60, into, 1 minus, the scrap rate of parts produced, which is 5%, or 0.05, which gives us a total part cost of $4.47 per piece for this operation. Now, let's look at question B, where we have to determine that if availability could be increased to 100% and scrap rate could be reduced to zero, what would be the production rate and finished part cost? So, if availability are equals 100% or 1 and scrap rate equals 0, then equation for production rate R P equals to 60 divided by T P. Putting the value of cycle time T P, we get the production rate of 27.27 pieces per hour. And the part cost would be C P C equal to material cost of $1.75. Equipment cost rate of $42 per hour, plus labor cost rate of $24 per hour, into, the cycle time of 2.20 minutes, divided by, 60. Which gives us a finished part cost of $4.17 per piece, which was $4.47 per piece before the availability could be increased to 100% and scrap rate could be reduced to zero. Similarly, the production rate of acceptable parts has also increased from 25.13 pieces per hour to 27.27 pieces per hour. This is an 8.5% increase in production rate and a 6.7% reduction in cost. So, we have studied in details about the equipment reliability and scrap rate under the topic Manufacturing Cost Models in Manufacturing Economics and Mathematical Problems on Scrap Rate cycle time and cost per piece. Hope this will be helpful. Thank you.